Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Sim Airport. The Satellites International Airport is um, going along nicely. We are really getting shape now. I've finished the construction. If I put on the planning view, I've kind of finished the construction of this area. And let's, while we're at it, let's just get rid of some of these planning views. By the way, if you are enjoying this series, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and tell me whether you would like to see something else or something different or... Yeah, in the comments down below, I would, I really appreciate it. Uh, I do uh, really enjoy it when you guys uh, do comment and like and interact with me. Uh, and I do appreciate the support. Also, feel free to share these videos with anybody you think would like it so we can get some more subscribers on the channel. Um, okay, now let's continue with the, the rest of the day. So what I'm going to do today... Let's get rid of the planning view. Today I'm going to finish off this. We're making a fair bit of money now. I finished off the, the basic construction of it. I think the idea now is for us to start seeing, well, uh, if we put the planning back on again, is can we actually run um, some good roads in here? And the question is, is there enough space on the outside here if we want to do it that way? Uh, yes. So that is kind of what we want to do. I do want to get us get that space in there a little bit. So let's think about it, this a little bit. Okay, let's go back into the planning view. I'm going to pause the game just for a second. We'll go back into the planning view and let's start laying some things out. I'm going to grab this nice pink color over here. And we, what I'm thinking is this first section over here should maybe go into offices. And we can similarly double that up on the other side. Um, but there's also, uh, hang on, let's go to zones. There's a conference room, right? What's the size of that? Four by four. Okay, and the office size uh doesn't actually say but i believe we've got three by three here yeah definitely got three by three so four by four and three by three is about what we're after so let's grab the planning tool we're going to grab this nice pink color over here and we're going to say oops we're going to say three by three three by three uh three by three okay maybe we'll do Ooh, but if it's four by Four by four, three by three, and hmm. So maybe, maybe we're not. It's not going to actually work. Maybe we'll, what we'll do is we'll do one of the conference rooms right in the corner somewhere. So let's go back to that and say, well, we'll do a few offices over here. Well, actually, you don't need that many offices. We need like five offices. Let's quickly. Uh, actually, but the reps also need offices. So. Really, that's about it. Oh, and this actually fits in quite nicely as offices. So yeah, that's what it's going to be. So let's do planned walls over here. Okay, we'll plan out some walls over here. So these are going to be the new offices. So we can make room and get rid of those offices over there. I think that's going to be a nice little feature. We're also going to definitely have some doors over here. I'm not sure this area needs to be quite as big, but it can be um yeah we'll see we'll see about that uh this might be a little a little tight for us i'm i'm, I'm thinking that it might be a little tight e anyway we'll 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 continue to see about that um okay now so then what this area is going to be this area is going to be the nice big um baggage collection area and i'm thinking Is it, is it something like that? Is that is that the way we're going to do baggage collection? Baggage collection like that. Um, do we need other facilities inside this area? Do we need, for instance, put a cafe in here? We need to put some stores in there. Okay, so let's trim that back a little. Let's trim that back at least all the way to there. I'm also thinking we trim back a little, a little area like that. So now in here, for instance, what we rather do is we grab the lime color and we say, well, this area is actually going to be, it's only eight wide. Huh? So this area, yeah, I think that's fine. This area, I'm, I'm not liking the fact that we're leaving areas open. So that area is going to be like the cafe area. This area is going to be the baggage, uh, baggage collection area and things like that. I was thinking over here is a, probably a good spot for a bit of a bathroom. And I want something that's of decent size. Right, something uh, similar to what we've got going on over here. So if we say that that is, a, I think that's a decent enough size. Maybe something like that. What 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 is that like? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight by one, two, three, four, five, five by eight, basically. 
So if we say, uh, let's do five like this, we're not actually going to get us all the way to the eight, but we do get like seven in there. And so I do wonder whether that's a, a, a decent way of putting a bathroom in place. Otherwise, we can do it a little bigger like that, right? Do a little something like that. What we'll do is we'll plan a bit of a wall in here. Okay, we'll plan a wall at the front there and we will run a wall in through there. Um, and then we'll do actually this. So if I say one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Actually, that's not very big. That's really not very big. And then if we do some basins in there, so that's kind of the setup we've got on that side. If we then do similarly do like this, this area is now actually going to have some additional space that cannot actually be used. Is that the question is, is that bathroom big enough? I don't think so. So let's cancel all of this. We need something a fair bit bigger than that, for instance. And the question is, do we just need the one? Do we need more of them? Do we need one on this side, maybe in here somewhere, splitting these two in, in half? Yeah, that's good. Something that we could have a look at. Let's say if we grab our planned wall section right over here, let's say we do a bit of a store on that side. That's eight. By five. If we do something like that, for instance, right? And then we say, well, let's do um, those are the sinks up there. And then we'll do, yeah, I think that is almost a better, a better setup for us like that. Yeah, I think this is what we're going to do. So those are the bathrooms in here that we're planning out over here. And what we'll do is we'll do uh, maybe a bit of a kitchen next to it over here. Like that, and then that's a cafe, and ooh, that didn't want to do that. And then this side, we go and get it, give ourselves a bit of a, a shop or something, a shop and, and things like that. So there we go. So that's our arrivals area. Um, we obviously have a lot more room over here that we could use, but I'm, I'm much more interested in, oh, and I do want to give us another, uh, another two sets of bathrooms basically, but four, I think is a, is a decent, is a decent one if we're, if we're looking at it from that perspective. So let's give ourselves another wall. So if we say four, oh, hang on, four like that. Yeah, I think that's about the right. So what was this? This was six inside. So six, seven, like that. So if we do another bathroom over here on the secure side of things, um, this area over here will be our secure zone. Our security zone will run through there. So I can start putting some stuff in there. And then obviously we need to start looking at connecting that up to other things. Okay, so with that in mind, let's quickly have a look. Can I, uh, let's start by building. I'm a little worried this might be a little too much though. Okay, let's quickly have a look. If we go to utilities and we say baggage carousel from below, how many can we squeeze in here? Uh, not that many if we do it this way. If we do it that way, for instance, Right. If we do it that way, we may be able to squeeze in like eight of them. Um, so maybe that is what we should be doing. So let's see if we do. Let's start it off like that. Let's just say. That's about what we want to do Two from there. Right. And then two, two like that. That is actually quite good. Uh, yeah, two from there, two from there, two from there. Absolutely. These, this baggage carousel system is going to be awesome. Oh, and it's cost, it's extremely costly. Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Cancel, cancel, cancel that project, cancel that project, cancel that project, cancel that project. 
Uh, I'm, I'm assuming the stuff's been delivered and they are just like hanging out over here as extremely expensive pieces. Where did my money go? 25,000 per transaction. So here they are, right? Concrete, uh, baggage carousel. I feel like I've lost some money due to some cancellations over here. <laughs> Honestly, where did the money go? None of that's actually being built yet, right? I don't know. I feel I missed out. I need to go and have a look at what's going on there. We get building on that side. Get ourselves some doors. I'm just going to use the staff doors over here. Okay, so some staff doors going in over there. Uh, I'm really worried. Is there some stuff in here that I can sell? I'm going to use these things. Uh, hang on. Remote bag scanners. Bag scanners. Hot plates. Bag scanners. Metal detectors. Bag scanners. Stuff. Concrete. Concrete. Baggage carousels. I think we've lost money somehow. I think we've actually lost money here. Oh, you know what? Part of what it makes it so costly is that piece down there. But where's still where's the money that I've... I feel that I'm losing. We had tons of money. I honestly feel like somewhere we've lost some money. We'll have to go back and have a look at what's going on over there. But anyway, all of that's being built. Uh, we can go ahead and build the rest of these walls over here as well. Uh, like that. Like that. Like that. Get ourselves some doors over here, please. In there, in there. Uh, probably a staff, bit of a staff door. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe in there somewhere. As that'll be the kitchen. Cool, 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 cool. Um, okay, so that's that's the first piece over there. I'm a little worried about our cash cash situation. Uh, but what I want to do is yeah we need to push that back a little bit so there's still room for some other stuff over there give me some more walls over here put some walls in there um and let's pause it just for a second we'll get ourselves a bit of a door um like that and like that okay okay uh, that's fine now let's uh, get out of here so that they can continue to build those pieces there Okay, now if we go to zones, uh, we can actually build a security zone through here. So let's go ahead and uh, indicate this as a security zone. We'll make it a little bigger because we're going to need a little bit more room in there. And I want to run it straight through all the way to the other side. So that's, that's going to be good. Uh, we can get rid of the planning just for the minute. Now, let's see. We need male and female restrooms. So a male restroom over there and over here. And a female restroom over there and over there, and a kitchen over here, and then a cafe. Uh, I want to run all the way like that for now. I also need us to get a bit of a, <clears throat> a retail area store or something. Deliveries, cafe, shops or something, store. A store over here, a baggage a baggage claim um, all the way through there. Excellent. So that is awesome. Now offices. Let me just start by assigning some offices through here. Excellent. So those are starting to take shape. Quickly pause. I just want to see. So did we get through yesterday with perfect ops? The, the better way to look at this obviously would not be. It does actually look like perfect ops. My goodness. Can we have a look at that cash flow graph? Oh, no, that's not what I want. Perfect ops bonus. We indeed got a perfect ops bonus yesterday. That is absolutely off awesome. And if we look at profit and loss for yesterday, how did that go? We made some money. We lost it due to taxes. We, um, oh, I did pay off a little bit of the bank loans in between episodes. 
Um, as I was waiting for this to do, I spent some money on, on paying off bank loans, but um, there would have been lots of material fees. And what I'm... Uh, buy baggage carousel from below ground. Buy concrete. Whoa, that is... does not seem right to me. It's those below areas. It's this down here. But So I've lost all of the other ones that I put in there. So that's really not cool. Really not cool. Okay, what I'm going to do is I am going to start and grab our bag scanners and can we use can we use can we start using these guys so my view is that we do that okay plus a metal detector okay I'm not sure we need the body scanners and or maybe what we do is we do we do, go ahead and do this and we leave an extra room because I believe the body scanner is bigger yeah so we leave room for the body scanner right so that is kind of my view and we just kind of run them run them all the way through through this area alternatively these could be quicker so another thing that we could look at actually give me another one give me a bag scanner the remote one we'd have zero in stock now but the other thing I was thinking is maybe a little something like this. If we do that. Okay, let's get another one in there. I don't want to buy too many more. And then a metal detector. Uh, maybe on this side instead. And then a bag scanner. I'm not going to put more in here now. But the other thing that I'm thinking. Oh, yeah. I think that's going to work if we do it like this. So we stagger it a little bit. Do we save anything by doing that? I don't think we actually save anything by doing this. If we do that instead, we could be saving some stuff. Yeah, let's do that. Let's cancel these two. Thank you very much. Do I get money back? I have no idea. Let's say bag scanner. Let's go with the remote bag scanner and we'll slot it in over there. Yeah, I think that is that's the right thing to do. And then we'll go with the metal detector. Metal detector. Uh, but it could also be that this thing um, takes that takes the shape over there. So I don't quite know if we do plop that in there, whether that does anything. So metal uh, bag scanner. Bag scanner. I'm not going to do it now then. Um, so then this was the, the idea that I had. So that could give us quite a lot of them. Um, okay, but I'm going to leave it at that for now. Give me that other metal detector. So we'll get these two set up over here. And then I need some ID check stands, please. And the idea is effectively one there, one there. Yeah, so we'll just, we'll just see how, how all of that works. Perfect. Okay, now let's get some stuff in here. Things are going along, but we do we are in serious need of some more money. So let's get some toilet stalls in here. Um, this is the male one, right? So what we'll do is one, two, over there. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two. Uh, we're out of money. We're out of money, guys. So please go ahead, go along swimmingly. But I am, I'm so, I'm so happy that everything is starting to work out. Uh, at this point in time, we could actually start opening up some of these things. We could, in fact, start opening up some of these things. Not that any of this is working at the moment, but yeah, we can start looking at opening some stuff up. Okay, we need some planes in here so that we can make money. Planes for money. Planes for money. Here they come. Um, did I, I, I tweaked the stagger a little bit more, I think. And uh, in that 320 slot, I've tweaked the stagger a little bit. So this, the stagger is now really awesome. There's now a lot of slots in here. Did my... I, I feel like I kind of lost my sound. Somehow there's no sound in the game now. But anyway, it's still working, it's still operating, and we're still making... Uh, decent amounts of money. So now with money in place, let's go back for the toilet stalls. How much do these cost? 1,200. They're not that expensive. 
Okay, and then on this side, like that, and we'll get some urinals, urinals, like that over there, and we'll grab ourselves some sinks, and we'll start putting the sinks in there. Nice, so that's in place. So now those restrooms should start being functional. I also want these, I want to set up these as well. Money is coming in now. Sinks over here for me, please. Um, right up against the wall here. And then all the way down this way. Then we do some urinals, please. Oops, that's not how you spell it. Slot in like two of them over there. And then we'll go with the toilet stalls and we'll do the rest like that. I think this is a bit of a better setup than uh, the inefficient ones we've got going on on the other side. But anyway, that should now be workable. But this is sector is isolated and unreachable. So fair enough. Sectors are isolated and unreachable. Are reachable. I understand that. Uh, I understand that as a, as a situation. Uh, we need a remote, a remote, can I say a remote... Um, security station oh and I kind of think um, maybe a little spot over here is 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 a good spot else we could uh, could we squeeze it in somewhere over here maybe or somewhere over there or uh, it's about it's about equal whether we do it there or there I'll, I'll do it like that so we'll do it like that. We'll get that in there so we can start linking these up. We're going to need some nice queues for them. Um, we may have to split. The, so this area here is effectively going to be kind of the queuing area that we're going to deal with. It is starting to look pretty good. We are managing these guys through here pretty easily now. Um, I do want us to look at the roads potentially. Okay, so let's go in here now. Let's have a look. If we say roads, right? We can run one like that and one like that. Alternatively, we just run the road like this. Can't create more than one R, ah, more than one pickup zone. So we could go ahead and do switch on the planning and see what we said. Actually, we want you to run all the way to the edge there and all the way back and like so. And just pause it for a second. <clears throat> so with that in mind, okay, there's no room to actually pass one another. So what we could effectively do is we could say, uh, squeeze one in there, like so. And then that's the, that's the drop off area. And this is the pickup area over here. Yeah. How does that work? Run down there. We're really spending all the cash now. So go ahead and start building all of that. I also want to get a bit of sidewalk going on. This is obviously going to take us ages to build. And a bit of sidewalk over there. And now that's insufficient funds. So let's leave that be for the minute. While everything still runs nicely. Still a little bit daunted by the fact that there's no sound anymore. But everything else still seems to be working. A little bit of a kerfuffle of planes over there. Let's quickly see how we're doing in terms of getting that bonus. If ooh, we missed two again around that 320 slot where we keep to keep running into little bits of problems um, around that 320 mark. Oh, there was a little bit of a problem earlier and before that too. Why? What was going on? Can't understand. The previous day was such a uh, was 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 all great. It was all great the previous day. Um, okay, let's uh, see about kitting out this kitchen a little bit. Uh, ooh, ooh, just oh, exclusive to an airline. My goodness, no idea that was a thing. Ooh, we failed the minimum size. Okay, that's of course a bit of a problem. So let's go ahead and dismantle that section through there. We'll grab ourselves a new wall over there, and we'll get a new door. We'll run that through there, a new door over there. Okay, go and fix that up for us, please. 
this is all being built quite nicely so let's get some more sidewalk over here i would like us to finish off that piece of sidewalk over there so once you're done with this you can go ahead and sort that piece out um Uh, and you know what I can do? I can just uh, kind of... Oh, you can't actually get that um, over there. What we'll do, what I think we'll do, is let's go in between... Uh, when when it's evening, I'll quickly resort out the pickup area. Um, and we need to kind of open some of this up now. Hmm... There is obviously the, the whole issue with uh, actually getting the security through, I mean, getting out of the security area. And the question that I do have for myself is, do I actually funnel them out on the side here or somewhere in the middle? Um, so we don't have a cross flow. We could potentially still have end up with a cross flow. I'm going to move it so we get the security exit through there. Let's dismantle these two. And uh, all of these, please. Dismantle, dismantle, dismantle dismantle and that and that I just want to move everything over a little bit uh, it is now in between still need all of these guys to get through there okay so if I go ahead and go to zones and I clear let's say three wide like that make it four wide what we'll do is we'll grab the wall and what we're gonna do is we're gonna run the wall in there and then we get the security exits and it's effectively going to be a security exit right over there okay we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and um, open up at least some of these areas so let's um, go ahead and dismantle that Um, then I'm going to have to go and uh, get the security zone filled in over there. Uh, oops, close that off. What we'll do is we will dismantle this and that. And I believe everything will, should now be secure. Um, so now what I'll do is I'll dismantle... Um, well, actually, let's dismantle that piece because they can't actually get out of there. We'll get the security zone extended right through there nice so that's pretty good now we can dismantle the rest of it people are starting to arrive okay so that can be dismantled okay so now they can actually get get around through there and all the way that way that's fine let's get back to the bag scanner stuff that we were busy with over here so we've got the two remote ones so we'll grab one over there and one over there and is that is that the yeah I think that's the right approach let's get our metal detectors please like that we'll get ourselves some ID check stands like that and then is it like this doesn't really matter too much where we do it like so uh, the one thing I don't want is for these to stop functioning due to guys being missing because that could be an issue and then the remote remote um, security station is something over there um, guys you shouldn't be kind of acting all crazy over here because this is not not some not cool this well we'll assign it here and we'll assign it there and see if we actually do get the security to come and work it because then we'll actually be able to get people through here there we go what's going on there we go now it's working is it pretty quick uh, I'll have to I'll have to assign this Okay, and assign to here and 
Okay, so let's just get this assigned to that and to this. And uh, come on, we'll assign to that and to that. Okay, so for now, we are getting people through that a little bit quicker, I think. I believe that's quicker. So yeah, we should get a few more people through there. So at least it's functioning. Um, that's kind of the, the point of it at the moment. But we still need a lot of work to get this terminal to go to work. But I think that's kind of the thing. But there's a lot of other underground work that we need to do. I would very much love to link up um, these guys. So there's a bit of work here. So let me get the foundation going for that. Um, So if we do that and we do that. So once that's built, we should be able to get at least one of these um, one of these conveyors to start opening so we can close off that one. Um, slowly moving things around is exactly the right thing for us at the moment. Slowly getting ourselves a little bit more efficient over here. Um, no queuing working over here, but it is all it is all good at the moment. We've got some nice bathrooms that's running over here. We need to get this area here as the kitchen. Still, where is the kitchen piece? So I just need to extend that so that's at least sized correctly. The store and the cafe. Um, getting some stuff so we can, well, work the baggage claim area over here. Oh, the one thing that I did want to do is get the pickups and stuff working with uh, with a, a better a better setup over here and that I have not managed to to do maintenance is also something that we probably need stored somewhere can we fix this now no I think I'll need some doors over here so let's grab some doors at, at the very least doors uh, and we'll go with the nice big ones now this is now a much nicer environment so we'll do nice big doors over there like so and like so that's pretty awesome we'll do something very similar on the other side but then we just need to get our pickup area to work lots of people are running through there i do need us to build the rest of that um i don't think we actually need this entire area as pickup all the way through there so what i can do is let's try if we remove this pickup zone um if we remove it all the way to there will it still work can we actually get the zone i think people can still walk still there so let's get the pickup zone we'll just uh make it a fair bit bigger um say so like that okay and similarly for the drop off zone zone drop off uh we just make it nice and big um probably not all the way over there where is my planning running through uh so probably we need to just trim that back all the way till there okay then then switch off the planning we'll switch on it again oh that's okay and then we just uh kind of remove the drop off like that so that's going to be kind of where the how the drop off is going to be situated for the minute and let's quickly get that road piece going so just get some roads in place there. Roads, please. Um, uh, the maintenance, the maintenance section. Let's uh, let's just move the maintenance somewhere for now. Oh, come on, uh, let's dismantle that, uh, and we'll get the zone. The uh, the zones will uh, remove this, and we'll move the maintenance. It has to be four by four, right? Five by five. Okay, well, then maintenance is going to go in here. Okay, there we go. Grab us the um, the toolbox. We will uh, put the toolbox in there until we can find a space for it. And then give me the give me some more roads, please. Um, so we can just finish off this section through here. And then once that's in place, let's quickly finish off the build there, get that build done. And I hope, I honestly hope that that's going to be effective. I think the drop off should be here and the pickup over here so that, yeah, I think that's going to be good. We might have to move that. Okay, so now with that in mind, 
let's quickly go ahead and grab the zones yet again so let's uh, um, get rid of both of those okay and then we want a drop off zone I think the drop off zone needs to go in here okay and the pickup zone we'll have to experiment a little bit with this the pickup zone can go in there so that these guys can actually turn around and the drop offs don't don't have issues with these guys I think that should be fine we'll have a look so that should be fine huh? I wanna, I'm keen to see the next car that comes around to pick people up oh, right on the corner there that's pretty cool um, also I want to get another piece of road so that they can actually return on themselves into that direction see if see how that works but pretty cool at the moment that that is starting to take shape and things over here uh, we still need to do a fair bit with like deliveries and storage and all those kind of things but guys this episode has been going on a pretty long now so if you've enjoyed it hit that like button um, i would love to see you in the next one um, also subscribe to the channel and put some comments down below please bye bye